morning guys, welcome back to another day by day vlog. And happy Thanksgiving to all of our American viewers. Every year on my birthday, or around my birthday, an entire country celebrates with me. Just kidding, everybody gets so mad when I joke like that. <laughs> and uh, thank you to Real Link for sponsoring today's video. This has honestly been such an incredible year, so much to give thanks for, and I'm so thankful for all of you guys. Anyway, welcome to today's video. Today, Sam gets his staples out. I'm so grateful for that, I'm so excited. So excited for him to be okay and to be back moving and acting normal so that we can help us with chores. Yeah, that was a big thing, man. I love our horses, but the chores is hard. And it's not that I'm lazy, because I like work and I like mindless work, like cleaning stalls and mucking stalls. But the part that's hard for me is I'm not physically strong. As I've gotten older, and I know I have a B12 deficiency, and I take B12, it's not the same though. I'm, I'm not as strong, especially in my upper body. So while doing chores, horse chores, clean mucking stalls isn't like the end of the world, it, it makes like my upper back hurts now, and it never ever hurts. I definitely don't find the goat chores as strenuous on my body. And another thing, when Sam helps with chores, he cleans the he cleans half the horse barn, and then Sophie cleans half the horse barn. When I clean the horse barn, Sophie cleans half the horse barn, and then I do the goat barn, and then I clean the house. So I'm doing like three entire buildings all myself, where when other people do chores, they're only cleaning like a half of a barn or at least or even one barn. So it's a lot, it's so much. Like half my day is spent doing chores. Honestly, like half my day. We can't all come out in our pajamas. <laughs> Although some of us do. Yeah, see sometimes like, and it's so disruptive. Like I'm used to my own routine. I get up, I have my breakfast, I get dressed, I get ready for the day. And then I come out and I do my chores. When you have to like hurry because you have so much more to do, trust me, it's just disruptive. I also want him to get better so that he feels better. I wanted to tell you guys, good girl. Look, you have stuff in your hair. Every night she lays down and gets dirt in her eyes because she doesn't close her eyes all the way because if she has a deformity, but watch. Target, good girl. This summer, or this winter, we're gonna take another course together, Sophie and I, on natural horsemanship. Go slow, she's really good about that. Target, good girl, target, good girl. So uh, a couple years ago, we took a course, a natural horsemanship course, and that's where my heart lays. Uh, and that's how, where my heart lays with my kids too. So it makes sense that I would prefer natural horsemanship. Target, good girl. Oh, her poor little eyes. She does not like when I clean her eyes, but it has to happen. So I'm really excited about that. It'll be a part of Sophie's homeschool too. This is what my dog looks like after a morning of chores. She stinks, she's covered in dirt, and she gets all these grass and sticks and trees caught in her hair. And I spend all night brushing her just so that it, she can end up like that again in the morning. She's actually a mess, always a mess. I <laughs> can't keep her clean. So today, I'm gonna try my first ever puppy clip on her. It's not gonna be perfect, I know that for sure, and I'm okay with that. I just want her to be comfortable and I don't wanna be dragging, I don't wanna be taking stuff out of her fur every single day and every single night. She hardly has any hair on her and I'm still pulling out those little tiny like twigs and stuff from her fur every single night. Hold on to your hats. I'm going to give her a bath and then I'll come back and show you the final look.
Look at his cute little pony. And he's the only one that didn't run away. I wanted to take a few minutes to share a little bit more about our Rio Link security system. You guys know we, we installed it this past summer with you guys watching. Oh, wow, we are loving it. And we decided that we're gonna give a camera system away to one of you guys. So sit back, relax, and watch this video and see all the things that we love about it. Make sure to watch till the end of the video so that you can find out how to enter to try and win one of these camera systems for yourself. Reolink is a leading company in the security industry, providing security systems to meet a variety of customer needs, indoor cameras, outdoor cameras, and even off-grid. Reolink cameras are designed to be crystal clear, have accurate alerts, two-way audio, secure local so this is the mountain bracket that I'm going to install first and then I'm just simply going to attach the camera to it. Literally took us seconds to install this camera system. The battery is charged with a solar panel, which means never replacing the battery. We could just set the camera up and forget about it. Reolink cameras can easily distinguish between people, vehicles, and animals. I can even push a button and talk to my animals down at the barn, or I can talk to whoever comes by. Because our camera is equipped with a micro SD card slot, I feel secure in knowing that all of our footage is saved. The Reolink easy to use app allows us access to our camera no matter where we are. Wherever we go, I can watch our animals and make sure everybody is happy. The built-in mic and speaker allow me to listen and talk back to whoever the camera catches in real time. So I can easily call out to my goats and remind them not to be mean to the new baby goat. Or if I see someone coming onto our property, I can ask them what they, what they need, even when I'm not there. This camera even comes with superior nighttime image quality. And although we haven't used it yet, this camera system comes with a super fun time lapse. I'm really excited about that because I think I could get some really good camera footage for our videos. Because this smart camera is waterproof, it works perfectly both inside and outside your house, even in harsh weather conditions. The first thing I did when we set up our camera was go to the app and set up push notifications. I get an alert every time something crosses the camera path. So I always know when our goats and when our horses are wandering around the property and where they are at any given moment. Sometimes I even set up a siren at nighttime because a powerfully loud siren will be triggered when motion is detected and when there are other wild animals wandering around our property, I can scare them. I'm alerted every single time they come in the barn to drink and that gives me amazing feedback. Especially in colder months, I know when our horses are drinking. I'm able to watch them no matter where I am and that makes going away for Thanksgiving or Christmas feel so much safer to me because I can look at our animals at any given moment, and I do. Even on a day-to-day -day basis, we use our camera systems all the time. I know it might sound crazy, but I talk to our animals through the camera system all the time. Head to the link in my description box to visit Reolink's smart security camera. And while you're there, check out all their other products because I know they're having a big Black Friday sale. If you want to be entered into the contest to win a Reolink camera system, comment, enter me in the comments. The camera system that we are giving away is one designed for off-grid properties. So if your barn has no power or no Wi-Fi, the PT Plus is always available with 4G network. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, please comment, enter me in the comments below. <laughs> They're like, I want one! <laughs> They were so funny. They're all just staring at me. I want one. I want a real link. So today we opened up the gate between the goat areas so that we could let our baby interact with our other goats. We've been doing it really slowly and she is settling in. They still try and butt her, but hardly. And she's getting used to running away from them. So it's working out really well. Yay for progress. Oh my gosh, Sophie is already. Why'd you let him in? He just came in. I didn't have a choice. Do I need to cut the toe thing first? Yep, just a tiny bit. And remember, angle it towards me so that you don't take too much off at once. Sophie's addicted to goat feet. So she's trimming them up. It's actually freezing cold out today. That's why I brought mitts. We're a little early. We try and do it every month. Stop it. But Sophie's in a hurry. 
So while we wait, let's talk about Harvey. I swear to God, I think about him every single day. Gabby still loves him. It's hard for us to go and ride him at night right now because she gets home, like she just got home and it's dark outside. It's almost dark outside. So by the time she has something to eat and we get there and tack him up, it's dark. You guys saw the first time we tried to ride him at night. We're gonna ride him on Saturday. We're gonna try and ride him on weekends which you'd like to ride him more, but there's just no time. But anyway, this time it'll be all different. You guys wanted to see him riding in an arena and um, we're gonna get some poles. I'm excited, we're gonna do that. We still have no idea if he's something that she wants to do. I know she is obsessed with him. The minute she started pushing Sophie and I away from him, she was almost staking, like she was staking ownership. I wanted to update you guys because it's been almost a week since we've ridden him. It'll be a week in a couple of days. Um, so there is another video coming out soon. We're gonna ride him this weekend and it's gonna be a little bit different. I know a lot of you guys wanna see him in a more, in a in better footing. Uh, I'm excited too. So one of the reasons I let Sophie do it a little bit early this week is because I'm learning. I mean, I've always known this, but it's always been a hard thing for me. Don't put off what you can do today because it will always be worse weather. It'll always be worse weather. I swear to God, every time I put off something, it rains. So she wanted to get it done today and we're going to just get them all done. Don't you know that